Can, can you go over what's going to be on the quiz? Is it somewhat similar to the quiz from last year? Like, <laughs> yeah, I, think, I feel like back then it was all kind of the same crap. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, did you get the quiz from the lecture, or where do you? Where can we? Uh, I got. It was his idea, so he said. So he got it from. So it'd be in the notes. I would imagine so. But basically what you taught the last lecture is all we need to know for this course. Well, no, because uh, you know, last week was more like a stripping column. Oh. So there was like, there was air, water, and the counter currently exchanging, and it was solute that's partitioning into one of the, one of the two phases. So you can do distillation with that So if it was a distillation packed uh, packed bed, what what info would you give us, or like what variables would be given, and what would we have to find? Yeah. Uh, you know, the same <laughs> usual, like what's the composition? Yeah, the, it's it's a number of stages in the column height. Yeah. Uh, inlet composition, outlet composition. Not inlet composition. That'd be given, but like the outlet, closed outlet compositions. So you would have to find the height and the compositions, or would you be given one of the, of the or the other? No, it's kind of like the same thing as the regular distillation. It's like you'd be looking at one of the same thing. But you would probably have the same number of variables, right? Except instead of Yeah, it's just different, different equations, different design equations. I mean, but yeah, you would still be the same thing. You're just having variables. Yeah. So would you like the Simpsons rule? Yeah. What do you want to know about Simpsons rule? Not that I'm just. I'm just so that's just a tool to numerically integrate. Is it, is it any different when you do, if you get to the point where, um, let's see, like before when we had, uh, was, it, was it a batch, batch distillation that we had to do the, if we didn't know XB, I guess, and we had to draw and we had to graph the points. All right, hold on. So it's a batch, batch distillation? Yeah. I think I'm thinking of the right thing. Uh, is it continuous? No, batch, right? You said. Right. Hmm. Okay. Is that, isn't that the point? So if we know, uh, say we don't know the final composition in the pot, then we have to do the. Um, Kind of trial and error, maybe graph of the amount versus the, comp the composition. Do the whole graph of LN of, of whatever the business was. I don't remember what the equation comes out to. So you get the graph of the, the parabola kind of shape, right? Right. Okay. So, you know so you're talking about trade trade batch distillation, right? Right.
That was the design equation, right? Okay, so with a trade batch distillation, what was the issue here with this with this equation? No, um, so first of all, do you want to go through how to derive this? Would that be helpful? So like if I gave you a trade batch distillation, would you just remember, oh yeah, that's the equation? It was like dxd over dt equals like yeah. yd or something like that? Let's So this, this comes from flipping the one equation and dividing them. No, I know, but it's not. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. That, that's nothing new. So what was the problem in solving this? Oh, I was just wondering if it's like how, I guess, because I haven't really gone through it, done problems that involve getting a, a similar setup with the patch column yet. Uh -huh. And I was wondering if you know, and like kind of how, just how analogous the process is in dealing with that. Or yes, yes, yeah. that's what we're going through. So this is it. So what do you think? Would this design equation hold for this, or if it's patch? Does that change anything? I think it does. No. Well, it's packed and continuous, obviously. B not and B should. It, so is the feed of a. This is it's brought into the bottom, right? Into the boiler? There's no feed, I call it a charge. Oh, okay, so this is for. This is for oh, okay. yeah, this is for. This is batch, strictly okay. batch. Is the difference like one of them has stages and the other one has height? Yeah. So the difference is this one has stages, this one has some kind of pattern. <laughs> All right, well, who thinks you can apply this equation to this situation? Raise your hand. Who says you don't? Uh, I probably don't, yeah. Maybe. You can. That's a, yeah. It's the same thing. The only thing that's changed is you've changed what's going on in the middle. Yeah. Would the process solve the problem be the same? What about like the algorithm? How do you do that? Would that say Right. That's that's the issue. Yeah. What do you think? Um, well, for, well, let's recap. What what do we do in this situation? Yes. Yeah, a series of R's, right? Well, no, let's, let's say we hold our constant. Yeah, that's XD. Yeah, that's XD. We'll do more stages and figure out XD. Yeah, remember in this situation, we needed the number of stages to construct yeah. our, our XD versus, oh no, what is it? XB. Uh, versus 1 over xb minus xb. You needed to pick a whole bunch of these. But look, I'm doing stepping stages. So that won't work here. Can we be looking at it as one stage? Uh, no, not it's quite. It's like what? infinitely many tiny little stages. Yeah. So, right. instead of doing stages, we would just do the i values. 
So you have a reflex, which is called a slope, and then you go like the edge of that slope? Nope. So what did we do when it was packed before? When it was packed in flow, how do we start? Find the slope and... Okay. Yeah, so say, say you're given them. Would you put the feed, the charge, put the charge on the feed and just do as many steps until you hit the feed and assuming it's charged in, in the boiler, do one more step past the feed? No, how do you know how many steps there are? No, you would keep, no, it's just saying keep going. Nope. I'm completely thrown off. Isn't, like, don't you just can read law and do all stuff for pack columns? Too? No, so this, so you're thinking of uh, stripping columns and stuff. So this is a different situation. This deletion is the word you have to be careful of here. So remember last week with the Henry's Law, there was air and water flowing countercurrently, and there was a solute that was partitioning between them. This week is back to distillation, where you have a binary mixture, and there, there's more volatile going up, less volatile going down. I'm not giving in. Somebody's got to figure it out. <laughs> what was the question again? The question is, how do we handle? So when it was a trade batch distillation, we just step stages and construct this graph. So how do we handle it if it's just packing and there are no stages? Can you? There's a height. So so we need the height. I don't know how to. Right. It's good talk. It won't necessarily. You gotta use the um, I values for the, like Y star and X star. <coughs> Close. So <coughs> what's the equation? So like one over Y minus Y star is equal to um, or two D Y. Keep going. You're close. Uh, is equal to H over H, H O X. Not quite. There should be a K in there somewhere. Oh, so times over the Y minus. Well, you can you can keep that on that side. A big A and little A and K X. No, Y. Okay, what's the On top of the y minus y naught is d. Doesn't the A and the, doesn't that shit go into the HLI? Yeah, HLI? So get rid of the HLI. What the hell? And that's how you have DZ. Oh, I see what you're doing. And then you can get rid of the Y, the V on the other side, and then you can make your HLI. So that side is just going to be H over H over Y. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<coughs> why star? Okay, so that's it depends, it depends on, on whatever, however, it has to be positive. Like a positive, but you can switch in between those two. In this, in this case, when it's like a continuous flow under there, or let's say this is a batch, um, could it be air or dirty liquid? Like dirty air or dirty liquid? No, no you're confusing the stripping column from, from last week. Right. So dirty so, water. All right. In this case, too, is there different different columns? Different columns. Here, here you have water and air flowing concurrently. Here is a distillation. You have two things, component A and component B, that are being distilled. They're separated thermally. So Y star is a max. I guess you All right, wait, where, where did this come from? How would you no. how would you get this knowing nothing else? It comes from the D, D, Y, D, Z. One component so balance. balance. Yeah, That's one component balance of balance on the vapor. No, you just do a you do a balance around around a slice. Dave, was it you who said it's just an infinite series of thin, yeah. thin slices of steam? Yeah, that's right. Uh, so the way you say that is it's the flux which we worked out last week. Remember that term for the flux? That's where you start. And then you can algebraically get to there. So how does that help? How can we get from there to there? Um, you can set... No, You can integrate the right side and put an H on top. Okay. Are Y the compositions, right? Uh, yeah, Y is the vapor phase composition. So what's going to be Y star? Y, uh, X, is, X is the, no, Y star is in equilibrium with X. On a graph like this? Yeah. Uh, let's draw an arbitrary reflux ratio one. Uh, so for a given x, like this, Y star, Y1 or Y2? Y2. No, it's Y1. It's Y1. Y1, no. Y1 is, is equilibrium with, Y star yeah. is in equilibrium with X. Uh, yeah. And then Y has to be in mass balance with X. Therefore, um, okay, Y star is going to use the similar procedure with X, D, and X, D. We're getting that would work if it's a flow distillation. Or are we just going to pick random Y's line and like go to the mass balance line and then go out to the um, equilibrium line and just read that difference? Yeah, that would work if it's a that would work if it's a flow distillation. So would you give us like a, a reflex ratio and then we go backwards to find H? How would that work? You would give us like an inlet composition and then you tell us, oh, we want to purify it by this much and get this 
at the end result, what is the H required to achieve that purity or something? Mm, no, I don't think so. Yeah. Everyone knows that the H is gets condensed into x d and then accumulates an x d average. All right, let's back up. Let's say it's not. We'll keep the, the batch over there. We'll do the continuous over here. So what's the design equation here? Can you use this one again? Who says you have to use this? We have XDX. Who says no, you can't use that? Yeah. The answer is no, you cannot use it. There's no B0. What is B0? It's a flow. There's an there's F. So, what's the relevant design equation here? semester in that solution. Nice. 
on this one. How do you treat that? Can you see why star is equal to mx? Does that help you at all? Uh, you could. Not, not in this situation. Maybe in that situation. Side. Did you just say it's one over, or it's ln? Ln over. Nah. No. Yeah. If you say y star is constant. Well, because y star is like mx. You said mx. Oh. True. Yeah. Ln. Ln of what? Y out minus mx divided by y in minus mx. X is half n. How but is isn't it? x a function of y? Yeah, but. That won't work. Wait, wait but is y star a function of y? Or is it? Vice versa? Yeah. <coughs> so you have to do symptoms? You don't know. Wait, but in the same way. Right, case. so you'd have to construct a graph of. Y versus one over Y minus Y star. So how do you do that? We'll say off equals two here. So we try the Y star reflex. You can't you can't take the log here because Y star is a function of Y. Just pick a we draw the okay. reflex. Okay. Yeah. Pick a line. All right. And then we pick a y that's along that line and find the y star. Good. Good. Pick a y. Pick a lot of y's. Say so that's y one. That was a bad example. <laughs> Gotta draw a reflex line like that. Pick a y. Uh, this y one is in mass balance with x one. And there's y star one. Pick another y, y two. X two. Y star two. similar to that, and then you can numerically integrate. Make sense? How's the semester going? Not, not sensing a lot of Hopefulness. Is this, <laughs> this the dark point in the semester or something? Look at his face. Much. Every point's a dark point. I'm having a pretty good day. Okay. Darker than <laughs> yeah. You never look better. <laughs> Nothing will give us a study, guys. 
agree to study the other last Is that doable? Okay. Sort of. Yes. Is continue is the equation used for continuous pack distillation and batch pack distillation? Are they, is that the same? Or do we do for the batch? Is it almost like the last? No, we haven't we haven't quite covered that yet. So we should be studying continuous. No. Both. So for batch back. Here it is. <laughs> Sorry, I'm back. It's a batch pack. <laughs> Uh, you don't have a Y in. Is, is it still D, it's still dy over y minus y star, but instead of y in, that would just be y original. Or is it, um, is no, not quite. But you're thinking about it. Here. Try to remember what we did last week. What was what was the oh. tricks in the other one? <laughs> yeah, what, what last week? Last week, huh? <laughs> oh, you had the... So you have to do an uh, uh, integral of mx minus y, that deal? <coughs> or I guess mx is y star. Did so you do something with the charge? To do with the, the charge to find y in. Get the charge to find y in. So it's being charged at the bottom, right? Yeah. So there's an initial charge B0 with an initial composition of Z. Well, I missed the question. What was the question? Can we use the initial charge to get y in? Cause, or, no, because y, y in is changing the time. Exactly. Here, here we can use y in because it doesn't matter. It's constant because it's steady state. Right. Here, remember, as you boil stuff off, the very first instant, y is going to be large. Can you do and then as you keep boiling, y gets smaller and smaller. Toss it. Where would you get y out? It's x. Yeah, it's the same as xt because it's a total condenser. So. Uh, okay. So within within the, the top product, is there an xt average too? No. Matter? With continuous, there's not. Okay. Because it's not being fed to a. Oh, it's not a batch. Okay. Yeah. We're trying to solve this this tricky game. You can use the other equation. L the X the X the A. There we go. That's the other story. Everybody forgets about this. Star minus X A. <laughs> yeah. Where does that get you? What's the punchline of that? You turn the back. Yeah. So do do all the algebra and then what do you end up with? Right hand side of this. Right hand side of this. No. So you're dividing. Are you doing the material balance for? Material balance for what? Yeah, so that's part of it. You'll have to do that along the way. But remember, x so x d and x b are both changing in time. You see why?
Jake, what was the end result? What was the end result of this? Hold on, dude, right okay. now. Okay, are you ready? Yep. Um, so, V, dy over LDX is equal to KY, KKY times Y minus Y star divided by KX times X star minus X. And then you could get the X's on one side, get the Y on the other side. Brian. So you're going to end up getting V or V, Y. Or, uh, no, 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 at the very end. What was the first equation that people wrote down last week? Was it Like the original value? Uh, with n? Like n, like x n, y n. Oh, x -N. no, no, it's not the original value. So I drew one up there. Mm -hmm. so you have to use the Simpson rule with n for this one? Uh, no, not yet. No, yeah. Nope. There, there's a cool realization you can make that simplifies that a little bit on this side. Uh, there's a relationship that we know between one of the x's or the one of the y's. Yeah. No, nope. it's like just, just between the variables x in, x out. Y in and Y out. X out is zero. Y out is zero. All right. Well, you say X out is zero and yeah. Y in is zero. There's no, there's no liquid. Y out zero. Hmm. Or Y out is constant. Oh, what if it comes out of the bottom? Yeah. And somebody else said something. Y out. Y out. Yes, that's it. Exactly. Y out equals yeah. X in is here. And because it's a total condenser. Ooh. Tricky. Y out is XN. So you can factor that out. Yeah. And then, so for the other two, you, your material balances will tell you the relationship between the other two. But then after that, after you play with that, it should work out very nicely. And then so you can just solve it. So something that we can know. So why are you? I would probably know it. So y out equals x in this case? Yes. Cool. Cool, cool. Is there so one more problem about this? It's in his nose somewhere. Not the problem, but the section. What about the other spectrum? The last one. There's one for some number. I didn't put the homework down. Yeah, that's why I was like, there's no pack Are you serious? No, I don't. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, you know what? It might be like a different format. I think I put like each piece of it. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I think it's a little bit. My Josh. It should be. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, it was a formatting thing, right? Yeah. I remember that. I was too lazy to change it, and I was like, I hope this doesn't make me go back. I'm loving the whole thing. That's why I don't know what we'll get there with And no matter what, it'll be total uh, total condenser for both bat or the batch and continuous. How would it change if it was a It might not be. Mm -hmm. that, that brings up a good question. Say you had a partial condenser. How are Y out and X and related then? They're equal. So you go to your equilibrium data, whatever that happens to be, you find your y out, and you find the x that's in equilibrium with that, that's your x. So it's just constant. Hmm? It would just be constant. We no, it would not be constant. Should still work out, though. How is evading it? Distillation. Sweet. Uh-huh. Cool. Well, what? What? That happened. Joe dies. Is he alive? Joe's alive. He's okay. He's okay. What about his boss? 